I'm May Lynn and I live a zero waste lifestyle. It's different for a lot of people, but for me what I try to do is basically just to reduce the amount of garbage that I produce and my first step in doing that was eliminating my garbage can, period. I try to avoid plastic and I try to avoid even things that can be recycled. This is all of the garbage that I've produced in 11 months in this jar and most of it is actually uh, stickers from fruits and vegetables. I feel better as a person and I can function better knowing that uh, I am aligning my values with my actions and I really believe that you know in life, if you are able to do that, then that is part of being happy. I was the consumer that would buy things in packaging and like canned goods and all that stuff. And so it was more about sacrificing and being okay with um, having to like make things. I make my own potato chips, deodorant. I make my own toothpaste and basically, you know, all of that stuff you have to make. But what I love about it is that it simplifies my life and it brings me back to a place of just the present moment. So the five R's of zero waste are refusing. So that just means trying not to basically buy what you don't need or accepting free things. Reducing. Reducing means you want to buy as little as possible and then there's reusing or repurposing. Then there's recycling. And then the last one is rot. So can it be brought back into the earth? Can it be composted? When it comes to like grocery shopping, uh, I try for it to be a routine. So that involves going through all my jars and bringing those jars to the store to buy stuff in bulk. Um, I have my cloth bags, so I'll use like my pillowcases, I use fabric that I had laying around, and so I bring that to the grocery store with me. Um, sometimes I'll put it in like my little cooler if I'm not going home right away. Lately I've been trying to avoid produce that has stickers on it. I've also been trying to select bananas that are all singles because a lot of those like single bananas actually get tossed out. So I try to do everything on one day. Um, and that includes also like going to the bakery. They cut up my bread and put it in a cloth bag. I try to keep everything in like metal tins because it keep la lasts longer and there's a few companies that you can buy from that will allow you to do a bottle exchange like so they'll put a deposit on your jar and then when you're done with it you can bring it back and you'll get that money back. For certain items I have to go to different bulk stores because they don't all carry them in the same place. My building doesn't have any compost in it, and so what I've been doing is going over to my friend's or my parents' house and bringing my compost there. And it's been working out for now, but I'm hoping that in the future, um, the management will have a composting option. So I'm self-employed, uh, photographer, videographer, artist, graphic designer and I've accumulated so many art supplies so I have to use everything that is in my home and after that like I won't be able to purchase anything so thinking about different ways to make paint like uh, earth friendly paints or um, even using the garbage in my jar um, to create art with. Having a, ch a child is is definitely like a challenge in this lifestyle because uh, with him being so young too, he doesn't fully understand why I want to live this way and what these choices are. Um, the toys that he has now actually have been the toys that he's had since he was a little baby or have been gifted to him or thrifted and have reduced a lot of toys. We live in a world where everything's so disposable and we do it without even thinking about it. And 
just because we can't see where it's going or what that effect is doesn't mean that we aren't being affected by it in a huge way. For me, that's kind of why it was really important is just to be part of the solution. If people wanted to be zero waste or try to like adopt a zero waste lifestyle, a few really easy things to do are just to have a reusable water bottle and avoiding plastic bags. Even those two things right there are just like that they're really, really easy and they make such a huge difference. So I started my blog, uh, Dream Lived Greener, because it was a way for me to keep track of how I was feeling and of all the sort of things that I learned along the way. There's definitely a misconception that living zero waste is more expensive, but it's not. It actually saved me more money and has actually made me healthier. Being able to like make my own toothpaste and shampoo and conditioner and not having to buy um, razor blades, it all adds up. So I definitely have been noticing a lot of savings because of it and feeling really good about it. There have definitely been some people who have asked me, you know, you know, after your year is up, which is sort of the time frame I gave myself for this, uh, documenting it and writing about it and things like that, like if I would just go back to, you know, a regular lifestyle. And I can't, I definitely cannot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, and it would definitely be like throwing away everything that I have been working towards.